And joining us now on this special edition of This Week in South Florida, Miami Mayor Francis Suarez. Mr. Mayor, good afternoon. So glad you could join us. Well, your city is a little scorched in places, but basically came through this night all right. Mac, thanks in really large part to the restraint and the good judgment of the Miami Police Department. I'm sure you are proud of them. I'm extremely proud of them, Michael and Glenna. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I was there uh, throughout the entire night. I actually met with the protesters at about 3 in the afternoon. Like you just said, uh, they were very uh, peaceful, about 1,000 protesters. We uh, uh, basically escorted them throughout downtown as they marched for several hours. Uh, unfortunately, as it got into the night, uh, a small group of the protesters who seemed like they were there specifically uh, to damage property because they had book bags and they brought uh, things with them to spray paint cars and light cars on fire. Um, unfortunately, uh, uh, you know, th that happened. And, and certainly uh, we had very, very little arrest. We had almost no physical, I don't think we had many physical confrontations between the protesters and the police, which is very different from what happened in Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, uh, obviously Minneapolis. Uh, so I am very proud of, 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 our, of our leadership. You know, when I was a commissioner um, and, you know, Steve Johnson, who was on before as a good friend, uh, you know, I had to fire the police chief uh, for those pattern and practices. And I cast a deciding vote to fire a police chief um, who had put into place uh, patterns and practices that led to the death of eight African-Americans. Uh, as a commissioner, I fully funded our civilian investigative panel to give uh, civilians an opportunity to give oversight, provide oversight to our police department. Um, and then I brought... Uh, Chief Colina, who I think has been fantastic. So we have made uh, reforms uh, since the 1980s, and we will uh, continue to do that, uh, listening to those uh, who rightfully uh, have been oppressed and have been mistreated over the years. Mayor, we, uh, as we're speaking, we're getting arrest reports in. Uh, to your point, there have been arrests of people from Minnesota, Michigan, and New York, according to the arrest forms. Uh, I hope that you were able to listen to our last segment with Stephen Johnson from the Black Affairs Advisory Board of the County, who said that focusing on out-of-town arrests are ignoring what's going on locally. I wonder if you would react to that. Yeah, and listen, I agree. I, I, think, I think we're not going to focus on out-of-town arrests. I think what happened is, as Michael said, uh, you had 800 to 1,000 peaceful protesters who respected uh, the life of, of George Floyd and who didn't uh, fall into the same uh, pattern that those who, who like, like Michael said, who, who murdered him did, which is a pattern of hate and violence. Um, and so I was very proud of, of, of the Miamians who acted most of the day. Uh, obviously at, at night, unfortunately, there were a very small group uh, who had a specific, it seemed like a specific mission to destroy property, to vandalize. And we, are, uh, you know, we unfortunately had to take some, some measures uh, to prevent that from happening. Yeah. Uh, Mayor Francis Suarez, it's so good to speak with you. And Glenna is going to be at your 2 o'clock news conference with Chief Colina. Right. And we will report on what you are doing and saying this evening on Local 10 News. Thanks very Thanks much. So much.